Hey guys, today we are gonna do this gorgeous matte smoky eye with the brand new Naked Smoky palette from Urban Decay. I love, love, love how this turned out. This is probably my most favorite tutorial that I have ever done, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well, and let's hop right in. So first, I am taking the shade Combust on a MAC 224 brush. Nothing major going on here. I am just using this as my initial transition color. Windshield wiper motions here, going back and forth and back and forth, and really extending that a little bit past where I normally would because we are gonna be doing a little bit of a cat eye shape. Then I am taking the shade Whiskey on a smaller tapered brush. This is from Haku Hodu, but you can use any type of a smaller brush like a MAC 217 if you like. Basically just move what we just did a little bit lower and start to wing out a little bit on the edge. Then you're gonna alternate going in with that 224 brush, buffing things out, going back with a little more Whiskey, creating a little bit of sharpness on the edge but then continue to soften it up. So you're gonna build and soften and build and soften. Yeah, and James is in the corner um, helping me stay in focus. So big thumbs up to James for hanging with me while I do my makeup. Okay, so I am just deepening the crease and adding more color. This type of a look does take some time because you're gonna add a little bit of color and then you're going to blend and you wanna blend and blend and blend. On a flat shadow brush, now we are packing all over the lid the shade 13, which is a beautiful matte white. I love this shade. It wears gorgeously, no creasing, no moving. It's pigmented, it blends beautifully. This color just makes this entire look pop. So we just want to pack that on until you get even coverage everywhere, leaving the outer corner alone as much as possible. You'll see that at the very end when I'm happy with the pigment that I've placed all over the lid, I am going to lightly press a little bit over where that brown was laid down. Then we're gonna go back in, surprise, surprise, with the 224 brush, no additional product, and blend it out. And even further, this is something I don't always show, but I'm a big fan of Q-tips. And uh, use them to smudge out any mistakes, soften things up, etc. All right, now we are taking the shade Dagger, and we are just going in that outer V, pressing and dabbing. I'm not sweeping the color everywhere, I am pressing and dabbing. I am using the fluffier side of the brush that comes with the palette and just layering up a little bit of color here. Once that is blended in, we are gonna take the shade Black Market, which is the darkest shade in the palette. It has a soft satin finish. It's not quite black, it's not quite gray, it's somewhere in between. And we are going to take the pencil side of the brush that comes with the palette and press that all along the lash line, almost all the way in, but not quite all the way in, about 75%. Just blend that out, and then we are gonna take the excess and we are gonna go on the lower lash line and mimic the exact same thing on the top. So bring it in identically with how far you've brought it in on the top. And this just gives a really beautiful smoky look and accentuates that outer edge of the eye. Now, because we've lost a little bit of the brightness, we are gonna go back in with our fingertips and pat a little bit of 13 back on the inner corner, making sure that that color just pops. And of course, make sure you blend out those edges so that the outer corner is still very smoky. Oh, hey, it's my new favorite liner from CoverGirl. I have already bought a backup of this, you guys. I'm so obsessed with it. We are just lining the eye. We are doing a winged liner, nothing major here, just very typical lining my lash line, making it thicker on the outer edge doing a flick but i love this liner so much it is the most matte black liner that i have ever used that is in a felt tip form and it's from the drugstore so yay for that i will link below my first impressions that i did on this liner uh and uh there's puka ruining my shot um don't mind him he was just being very uh very loving and needy that day so he's popping in and out of the background here all right something that i am about to do that is super high maintenance i know um but two is better than one sometimes so we are taking the ico liner and we are going to create a little bit of a sharp flick that is the only thing about the covergirl liner that i don't like is that it has a rounded tip so you do need something else a little bit sharper to create that really defined wing which is what i'm doing here but it's an easy fix and I love how this ended up looking, love it. Now we are moving on to lashes. I am taking the CoverGirl Super Size Me. 
Uh, this was also in that first impressions video. Really, really loving this mascara. It is fantastic pre false lash, which we are going to get into next because it really holds a curl and it doesn't flake or smudge at all. Now we are taking flutter lashes in Mia and these are my favorites and um, I am hoping for strong lash application. Like look how serious I am, the focus. And then I go and like block the entire thing. You can't see anything but my hand. Pretty. Be like Katie, master the lashes. God dang it. I got glue on my fingers and it's making me stick together. Don't look at me. You're distracting with your handsome new haircut. James, you're my firework. And back to the tutorial. So now we are taking Natural Buff Infallible Pro Matte Foundation with a Makeup Geek foundation brush. And I am just swirling and whirling this all over my face. And I forgot how much I love this foundation. It wears beautifully. It keeps you matte, but you don't look cakey. It's just a really, really good foundation. Now I am taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. I'm not doing too much crazy highlighting or anything like that. I'm just getting under the eye pretty generously, patting that in, and then I am gonna take a dampened beauty blender and just take some of the excess off. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of RCMA No Color Powder, and I, whew, that is a dusty powder. I'm going to pat this all over my T-zone. I'm not being too generous because the foundation is already quite mattifying, so I'm just setting it. I'm not trying to further mattify my face. Then we are gonna go in and contour just a little itty bit with my Eda brush down both sides of my nose because I just like the way that looks. And I did hit just a little bit in the the cheekbones not much um, and also underneath the apples of my cheeks which is kind of a new thing I'm doing it just lifts the face a little bit then I am taking my makeup forever bronzer I will list the number below and I am generously applying this on the perimeter of the face this is a really tough bronzer to overdo it's almost impossible you really can build this up but the initial application is quite light. So I am just going along the areas where the sun would naturally hit my face. And then we are going to go in with NARS's orgasm on the apples of the cheeks. I'm kind of reaching for things that I love in my collection that I haven't used in a while. This blush is beautiful. It goes with every single look out there. Going back to the eyes for a quick second, we are taking a pencil brush from Makeup Geek and the shade Password, which is a matte gray, and just dragging that on the lower lash line, and then, oh hey, Q-tips. Again, it's not a particular brand, it's just any cotton bud will work. Moving on to a shiny shade. We are taking High, which is the first shade in the palette that is really shimmery and bright, and just placing that very delicately under the high points of my arches of my brows and then I am taking an absolutely clean brush you don't want to use one that you've used on the lid at all you want to take a perfectly clean brush and just smooth that out now we are moving on to lips I am taking Milani's lip liner in number four which is one of my most favorite lip liners of all time it's like up there with a Gucci liner and it's from the drugstore for, you know, five bucks. Next, we are going in with Pillow Plump XXL from Soap and Glory. This is like one of the only lip plumpers that I feel really, really works. And it's a beautiful nude. I love it. Okay, everything's done. We're ready for some prep and prime. And again, two is better than one. So, hey, let's... Uh, Let's set with some more spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I do use both, one to kind of add a glow, the other to lock in my makeup. And then I realized, OMG, I didn't highlight, which is like the best part of the whole makeup look. So I am going in with a fan brush and a little bit of Becca Opal, and I am hitting the high points of the cheek, and we will see how this just adds so much to this look. It just, it makes everything so much prettier. I love a strong highlight and I am gonna take it a little bit down the bridge of the nose as well and do the same thing on the other side. And then we are totally done and this is the finished look. 
I loved it so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Please leave me requests for other tutorials you would like to see in the future and I hope you guys are having a good one. Thanks for watching.